What's up everybody? We are Deanna and Phil. Deanna is from the United States and I'm from Germany and in this video we're gonna answer your questions. We asked for your questions on Patreon and Instagram but before we go into that we just want to quickly shout out our family member Patreons. So big big thank you to Tony Sanchez, Marcus Ottensman, Mireya Rivera, Fred42, Laura and Jared, John Reynosa, Tarek Malkosh, Ethan Mitchell, Heather Kuffner, Stephen Matthews, Hissin Metro, Jay Reed and Charlotte Mills. Also, Alan B., our newest family level patron. Big thank you for all you guys for the amazing support. Thanks, guys. But now to the video. All right, first question. Which area in the US and Germany are you from? I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. And I am from the Göttingen area in the center of Germany. Will you ever live in the US or another country at some point in the future? Most likely, yes. We don't have any plans at the moment because of the current situation, but I'm pretty sure that we will live in the US at some point. Next question. How did you two meet? We met in Thailand getting TEFL certified and we made a whole video on that on how we met so you can check it out. There somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, what are your favorite travel memories together and individually? So together, I think my favorite travel memories is right after we met and we decided to travel together. We did this little round trip from Thailand to Malaysia, Cambodia, Vietnam. I think that was a pretty awesome time. It was before we were filming videos. That's probably my favorite time too when we were traveling together. I really enjoyed that. I thought about that. And individually, my favorite time traveling was probably when I went to China. I, I worked there and studied abroad there and it was my first country that I I'd been to outside of the US and there's a lot of like first time travel memories that come with that. Yeah, first time travel memories are the best. Yeah. I think my favorite individual one was when I went to New Zealand a while back and I did this Kiwi experience round trip with a bus. That was amazing time. Are you guys planning to travel as much in the future? It seems like you're trying to settle down a bit. Well, we did travel a lot together uh, the past few years. Yeah, we want to kind of have a home base, but I think we'll never stop traveling. Yeah, I think uh, right now the plan to travel way more again. Wow, I look like a Yo, feather a thing bear. here with a blanket. It's getting so cold and we need blankets. Uh, yeah, I think we'll want to travel more again because with all the situations stuck in Germany for now, it makes us like have the travel bug again. But we'll probably wait till things settle. All right, next one is what is your favorite piece of tech? Good question. Oh yeah, probably my drawing tablet and my Fitbit. <laughs> oh yeah, she draws all the little chibis with the drawing tablet. Yeah, and other things, not just the chibis. The, like, the chibis are set. Yeah, also like <laughs> uh, schmoes. My favorite piece of tech, I don't know if it's a piece of tech, I love Google Maps. Google Maps is so freaking handy. I use it all the time. I think it's so good. You can get navigation. You can mark all your restaurants, all your stuff. I just love looking at maps in general. Phil yeah. looks at maps for hours. <laughs> yeah, I love maps, love the world, love traveling. But in general, like a tangible thing, I just think the good old personal computer. I grew up with a real computer, I like these tower things, and uh, I never stopped using them. Do you have any tattoos or piercings? No, I don't, but I like them. I like tattoos and piercings and I always think about getting some. I just don't know what. If you have any ideas what kind of tattoos should I get, I'm ready to cover my entire body. My face, of course, just yeah, right yeah. there. I do have a little tattoo, it's just little hearts right there, and I used to have piercings, but my body rejects them, so I have no piercings anymore. You're not supposed to eat them. It's a, the <laughs> logic that it rejects it. <laughs> this is a good one. What are your favorite YouTube channels? Let's keep it short. This is very intimate. No, <laughs> I really like JK News. It's just kidding news. It's fun. I really got into ASMR to relax, so I listen Every to- Every evening when we go to bed. Yeah. I listen to latte ASMR I really like and Sarah's day she's an Australian youtuber and I really like watching her vlogs Australia mate Australia mate yeah for me it's also like it changes you go through phases yeah and uh, at the moment I watch a lot of parkour stuff so one of my favorite channels at the moment is Storo I also like a lot of funny stuff I always watched prank channels for the last forever <laughs> since YouTube yeah. came up I don't know it's like that was epic or big DOS TV I really like those Aussie men reviews. I think we both yeah, enjoy watching. I it's like just Aussie funny. Men. But my all time favorite, so many people have that answer. It's Casey Neistat. Yeah, yeah. Best country to live in. Ugh. 
I don't think there's a best country. No such thing as a best country. I think every country has its pros and cons and it's all about personal preference. There's yeah, not exactly. like one great country. Like we're trying to find out which one is the best. If you know, let us know. But I think she's right, there's no best country. For us, weather plays a huge role. So in my mind, I'm thinking that maybe Australia is one of the best countries to live in. I haven't been yet, so it might I've be totally been. horrible. We're we just projecting been. our dreams onto yeah, somewhere we haven't gone. <laughs> sunny, good quality of life. Yeah. Sounds like Australia. Very hard to tell. No idea. Next question. Phil speaks English very well and seems familiar with a lot of idioms. Where did he learn his English? Well, I was average in school, but after school I kind of decided I need to be good at English. So I started watching everything in English, TV shows, movies, all of that. I started out with friends, so I always say friends taught me English. Also, I studied a year in England, in Durham, at an English university, so full-time English, surrounded myself with English, and I tried to live like... Like an Englishman. Like an Englishman, <laughs> yeah. So follow up to that, what do you think is the best way to learn English? If you consume a lot of stuff, consume it in English. Go to English-speaking environment. If you never leave your bubble, then it's very hard to get very good at a language. But if you can't, watching a lot of things in English definitely helps. Yeah. All right, next question. How would you describe the average German in comparison to the average American? That is a very hard question because there are so many different individuals that you have to think what the yeah. average of each country looks like. So it's like extreme stereotyping. Yeah. Without trying to like, don't feel offended, like probably everybody will, Poor but I think the offended. general, on average, the Germans have a little bit more of a a negative outlook on things than the average American. Americans, on average, at first glance, appear a little more positive and focused on the positives. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Offended comments? Here we come. <laughs> Yana, what did your parents say when you told them you were dating the jackpot, the German guy? <laughs> I, I can't remember what they said. They probably asked, how did you end up meeting a German guy in Thailand? It's not like it was unexpected or anything. Like I've dated people of different backgrounds before. Did it really matter to them? No, they where didn't. I was... It didn't matter. Have you decided where to move? Would you consider Berlin? We have not decided yet. We are still weighing everything. Berlin would be an option, I think. It would be good. It just really comes down to, at the moment, like costs and what's, uh, what's realistic for our budget. There's always like the dream cities and then there's always the realistic yeah. budget cities. But yes, we're having considering Berlin. Yeah, Berlin. What was your education and what kind of jobs have you done? Let's keep it short. Went to university, majored in finance and economics, worked as an underwriter for a commercial banking sector, analyzed financials and risks, yeah. I studied business administration. I worked in purchasing as a strategic buyer in a big company. It was a good job, but it didn't really fulfill me, so. He is completely fulfilled. Fulfilled? <laughs> Oh my god, stop. Are you two planning on having kids? How many? Well, we got news. Yes, we do, but she's not pregnant. We're planning to have kids somewhere in the future, not the very, very close future. We have kids. Oh yeah, dude, these are... Uh, <laughs> these are our children. We're planning to have kids in the future. How many? I would say more than one. So probably two would be nice, right? I feel like that's a good number. I think it's also something sometimes you can't really control. <laughs> Stick around with us and uh, you'll see in the future, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Deep question, what is on your bucket lists? Join the Mile High Club. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you tell me that when we fly? Well, we can. We can okay. still do I don't really have a bucket list written out somewhere, but there are definitely a couple of things I want to do or dreams that I have. I think I definitely want to visit all continents in the oh, world. Oh, yeah, yeah. Visiting every country will be very hard, but every continent, definitely. I really want to climb a proper mountain, like mm -hmm. at least in the Alps in Europe, like a 4,000 above mountain. kind of want to learn to play the guitar. That's on my list for a oh, while. Me too. I should do that. You too? Yeah, it's been on my list. We're starting a band, yeah. it's official. Slapping the bass, man. We're slapping the bass. Oh, and kind of bucket list, no, just a goal. I kind of want to own a home at some point. Dang, you just listed like serious things and it's like the, I most, didn't, the most boring bucket I list. I didn't either. want to like, I didn't list all my goals in life. Yeah, it's that's, fine. Okay. How's Diana's German coming along? Did you ever have a conversation uh, just in German? 
It's we'll not see. as good as I would like it to be. Yeah, well, uh, maybe I answer that. I think it comes along pretty good. She understands so much more than she did like in the beginning of the year or a year ago. I think you understand like 80% of the German conversations. Speaking itself is always a little harder, yeah, right? Yeah, it's just I don't really have the grammar sentence structure down yet. So like I can understand what people are saying, but I want to respond back in German and I just feel so slow. Like by the time a sentence can form, it's incorrect. So I just need to study a little more. So why didn't you consider consider Bonn as a potential new city to live in Germany. Okay, so we're talking about Bonn, our former capital. We would consider it, we were trying to pick what draws us to cities the most. We can also just look at so many, so we would yeah. love to see every freaking city, but it's very hard to see them all. Yeah. And when we planned our little Rhine trip... We um, have a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, we did Dusseldorf, Cologne and Koblenz because we wanted to switch it up a bit. Yeah, maybe we should look at Bonn. Yeah. I have never been. Me neither. Diana's never been, so we don't know how, what it is like. But we're willing to go. Maybe we should consider it. What American thing would fill import to Germany? I think just the food culture. What I mean by that is like the abundance of availability of food that's everywhere. And I think You're Americans <laughs> do a freaking good job of making everything super tasty. I'm not talking about if it's healthy and I think I would get fat, er, I think that's just an amazing thing to have and uh, I would love to have that here. But what German thing would Deanna love to import to America? Oh, some people are not gonna agree with me, but I think public transportation I would import to the US. If you're outside of any of the big cities in the US, it's really hard to have like a subway or a train or a bus accessible everywhere and that's something hey, that even I in think. The cities. How would you be offended by that? Because by some people oh are like- Oh my God, good public transportation? No. no. Because no. some people are like, Germany doesn't have good public transportation or they'll say we have public transportation in the US and no we don't. Would you ever consider going vegetarian? Oh well if you watch our videos you probably think we only eat sausages and fast food but yeah. <laughs> our at-home meals actually a lot of them are vegetarian but I probably would never go full vegetarian because yeah. I like eating fish and seafood a yeah. lot. Yeah we would consider trying it out and yeah. stuff like that. Okay for Deanna what's the one thing that you're most embarrassed about that you don't want to admit to miss from the United States. Oh, flaming Hot Cheetos. Oh, oh yeah, food. dude, we bought, flamin is that the stuff Cheetos. we bought for seven euros in uh, Nuremberg, right? Yeah, yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. Worth every penny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which TV series are you currently watching? Right now we're re-watching Game of Come Thrones. On. It's my second time, it's a third time. It's freaking awesome. We also like in the middle of Rick and Morty somewhere. Yeah. We also in the middle of The Boys somewhere season two and we're also in the middle of a survivor australian version somewhere because the next us one is waiting and like we're waiting pond. for it yeah those are the ones we're watching together what is your favorite city in germany and why it's freaking hard same with the countries to say which city is best like all have pros and cons i have not seen everything of the city but maybe i have a feeling that it might be berlin for me really yeah oh i'm surprised what about you so for me i have to visit more cities and collect more data before i can answer that question that's another question diana do you miss cookout yeah they have really good milkshakes yeah that's true oh i do miss cookout well you brought me one that was a very good milkshake what are your guilty pleasures i would say food like fast food sweet stuff it's a struggle. It's a constant struggle. Yeah. I kind of want to eat cheeseburgers all the time, but I know I shouldn't. Kind of like my guilty pleasure. I would also think maybe video games. I was a big gamer in the past. It's mm. a little less, but every now and then I go back and play some stuff. And I uh, don't feel very productive doing that, but uh, yeah, I think it's a guilty pleasure. I think wearing sweatpants and watching a lot of rom-coms while eating. I don't really know. <laughs> But Li I'm not also, I'm not, I don't feel super guilty about Lying it. Lying on the couch, watching stuff, this is and stuffing our faces with junk food. Like every normal person should do. Another one, I'm curious, Diana, what's the most annoying German thing about Phil? There's nothing really annoying. <laughs> I think you're overly realistic sometimes and less optimistic yeah exactly i mentioned that before yeah it's fucking true sometimes it just brings the room down oh i'll try to be better wow that's really sweet <laughs> this is a good question what advice would you two give to your younger selves if you could Ooh, that's such a good question yeah i don't know i feel like it's also you have to go deep with that right i think i would say it's okay to be analytical and artistic you don't have to choose one or the other and 
one isn't better than the other. Wow, that is kind of deep. I feel like I'm a late bloomer and I would tell my younger self, don't play it safe. Because we grew up in Germany, it's all this safe culture. You like go get a job, get a house, whatever. Take more risks, do it earlier in life, travel more, go out, don't play it safe. Just dare stuff and uh, live your life. Inspiration. We're continuing with a little bit of a speed round. First one, Android or Apple? It used to be Apple, but now Android. Yeah, Android all the way. Favorite German food? Käsespätzle. Döner Kebab. <laughs> Food you can get in Germany. Favorite American food? Ooh, that's so hard. It depends on my mood. Barbecue, mac and cheese, Philly cheesesteaks, jambalaya, I don't know, po' boys. So many. I can't that's a decide. Lot. Dude, chipotle burrito. That's American. It's good enough. If not, <laughs> cheeseburger. Oh my God. Is that Diana's natural hair color? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I've never dyed it. I dyed it once. I did balayage, 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 and a it was okay. What do you like doing besides uh, YouTube? We had hobbies sometime in life, <laughs> but that's over. We don't have hobbies don't, <laughs> I like drawing and I like eating. I like martial arts, I like training, I like hitting things. I also picked up lately a mountain bike. You I just I, picked it up? I picked it up, put it down again, and sometimes I ride it too. Favorite car brand? Um, anything affordable and reliable. Yeah, exactly. I don't have one anymore. Looking to the future, liking technology, maybe Tesla. Can't afford that yet, maybe someday. Favorite drink? Whatever I am in the mood for. Water. I think for me, iced coffee. I like these iced coffees in a hot environment. Is Deanna pregnant? No, although I do get a food baby after eating. Me too. What are your jobs? Well, this. YouTube and video making. Choose between a castle in Germany or a mansion in a big city in the US. Mansion in the big city in the US. I like very modern homes, so castle had to be modern, but no, big mansion city in the US, somewhere warm. I would agree with that if we had to choose, but I would be okay with a small, modern, clean, Home. <laughs> a clean home, that's the goal at some, at some point in life. We just need to clean. <laughs> Phil, do you love black? You always wear black shirts. I don't know what you're talking about. No, but seriously, we're struggling with all the food. I'm trying to keep my weight down. So it just slims me down a little bit. Painting or photography? Photography, all the way. But even above that, a videography. I would say both. Favorite German band or singer? Beat Stakes. Haha. <laughs> yeah, same for me too. I play them a lot. Beat Stakes. Phil, what is the most American thing about you? Well, you tell me. I don't know, you like fast food? <laughs> <laughs> I like cheeseburgers. I like cheeseburgers. <laughs> Favorite movie? I can't pick just one. I really like Spirited Away and Star Wars. For me, aside from the big ones, Lord of the Rings, I really like School of Rock, for example, or The Wanderers. Classic. Favorite TV show? I really like funny TV shows. Best one ever, I think, How I Met Your Mother. And one of my favorites that I rewatch all the time, though, also is Entourage. For me, there's so many. I think Game of Thrones, Friends, Survivor. I really like Survivor. I don't know. There's too many to choose from. True. <laughs> Last one. Pretty funny. <laughs> Does Phil view Bavarians as the rednecks of Germany? Oddballs doing their own thing. <laughs> Okay, it's a hard question. If I think rednecks, I think of like American redneck stereotype. And I think Bavarians are nothing like that. Bavarians can be odd in their own way. I feel like when they try on purpose to be super Bavarian, and I don't see really the point in that. Bavarians have stereotypes and sometimes they try to rub it in your face that they're super Bavarian, but I feel like you can't really judge people if they're better or worse, just depending on what region they're from. Yeah, Bavarians, I don't know. They might be a little special when it comes to Germans, <laughs> but uh, like rednecks, not really. All right, those were a lot of questions. Uh, I hope we could answer some of those properly. Yeah. I think it was kind of fun to talk about that, depending on how this video is received. If you have any more questions, um, you could always send us met messages on Instagram, on Patreon. We always try to answer every Patreon message because the support there is really awesome for us and we really highly appreciate that. Yes. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.